Is it working? Am I able? Well, let's see. Will it change? Okay, it's changing, so that's good. Okay. Oh, I like how it doesn't give me a choice to go back. Once I choose broken memories, I'm like, that's it. You made your choice. <laughs> Fine. Doesn't matter. It's like, I don't care what you want to do. Alright, seems to be working now. So, sorry about that. So now, I just have to really click through all this. It's just stuff from before. No big deal. So we're gonna make our choice between saving Reyna or destroying the mask. But we're gonna try saving Reyna again, which means we're gonna have to go back again. Down, down, down. Are you sure you wanna go deeper? Do you really wanna go deeper? All right. Well, <laughs> Since since it like stopped while I was doing all of the stuff before in the suicide force, I guess it didn't really matter whether I did it or not. So I guess to reiterate what I was saying before, just for the sake of VODs, I guess, I um I was replaying the game and I was I was doing like a quote speed run of it and then I got to a point with the old man in the bookstore and he started talking differently. There was a different choice and I didn't remember what the question was so I just picked it and he basically told me how to get the I guess true ending which is save Arena, destroy the mask. So I'm like okay. So like because I tried doing on stream this whole thing going through and trying to do it again and redoing all this stuff it was kind of boring because that's basically what I'm doing right now is just clicking through because we'd already seen all these things we'd over read all these things and uh, <laughs> I was like okay well this is boring it's just me clicking it's not even like I have to do it manually so I thought I would do that off stream and get to the point where we are at now which is you know you choose between putting on the mask and or destroying it. But I think we have to do both, but I think we have to save Reyna first. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. I did go into the suicide force. I started this while we were in the compound, the stream, because then we were picking up like items for the ritual that weren't there before, which it was really weird. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to start the stream here because there was a scroll, there was a bowl, and there was a knife. And the guy, the old man, he kind of alluded to the fact that, that I wouldn't have been able to do the ritual the first run through because I didn't know about the dark. So I would have had to have re done all this stuff anyways which makes me even more kind of frustrated that oh cat cat that makes me even more frustrated that I would have had to have done all this regardless and if the developers knew that then why didn't they put like a skip function like most visual novels if it was almost required that I would have to do it a second time to be able to destroy the mask I I, I don't know I don't really understand that so that's kind of one of my biggest criticisms about this game right now. And I really don't know what the significance of Spin is. She's like so crazy right now, look at those eyes. But it doesn't seem to be affecting anything. Everything seems to be the exact same as it was the first time through. I mean, maybe she's talking to herself more? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know. So the dark woke up and I began to shudder as if I racked with quiet sobs. Okay. This we're we're getting we're getting there. Alright, we're meeting up with Reyna again. So 
sorry, I'm not going through this really quickly because, like I said, we already went through this. We, the, the first time we tried to save Tanaka, <laughs> that clearly was not the right ending. Forget and confront Reyna, become the mask bearer. What? what? This, I don't remember these choices. I don't even know what forget and confront Reyna even means. Well, we did save right before this, so... So you went anyway, huh? Even though I told you to leave me alone. Why couldn't you just forget and leave me alone? Ah, so that's it. <laughs> you want to keep hurting me, right? <laughs> I hate to burst your bubble, but if it's revenge you're after, it won't work. Nope. Can't blow my brains out down here. The dark won't let you. Aw, did I hurt your feelings? Did you bring your little gun all the way down here for nothing? You disappointed. I didn't bring it. There's no point. I didn't shoot you when you took Tanaka, and I won't now. Ha! <laughs> don't try to trick me. That doesn't mean you don't want to. <laughs> After everything I tried to think that you would be the one to show up here in the end. Funny, isn't it? Isn't it? After all, you were only supposed to be a guest star on my little show. A little temporary addition to liven things up a bit. Then you kept showing up uninvited, digging up every sharp thing you can find to poke me with. Now I can't get rid of you, see? It is funny, right? Yeah, we already went through all this. No matter what we do, we're forced together again. You ought to make the best of matter. Or of it. You're right. We can't avoid each other forever. Fate's forced us together, so all we can do is see it through to the end. Even when I saw you in the forest, you were down here, weren't you? Where else? Welcome to the end of the line. I don't understand it. It's awful down here. Why didn't you try to get back to the surface? Why would I go back? Why, what would be the point? When I do, I look around I don't even recognize it anymore. The streets are different, the sounds have changed, everything I knew or everyone I knew and ever cared about is gone. You don't know what it's like. Every day the same and feeling all my old pain again and again and again. People don't change, no matter what. No matter how much time goes, all these they all still look at me like I'm a flea-bitten dog to be kicked around and ignored. They hate me. In the end, I'll end up back here anyway, so why fight it? At least down here, nothing changes. When I was little, they said everything would be okay if I had the mask. But then Mommy died and the police took it away from me and nothing's gone right since. No one ever cared about me. The police, the foster homes, the other girls in the agency, they all hated me. They wanted me dead. Hold on a second. So she wants the mask, right? She didn't have it. Uh, she went to the shrine to get it because she was looking for it. But then when she was a Tanaka, wasn't Tanaka wearing the mask? So didn't she have the mask then? I, I'm confused. It's just like the rest of them. Only someday you'll grow old and die. And I'll still be here unless you give me that mask. It isn't that simple. Having the mask isn't going to solve your problems. It is that simple. Everyone always tells me it can't be simple, but why not? None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. If you'd just given it to me in the first place, you could have lived your stupid little fantasy life. Instead, you had to be a hero and get involved in something that was none of your business. Why shouldn't I use it? Are you, my problems not as important as yours? That's it, isn't it? Everything is about you and making your life happy again. I won't let you be happy. I won't. If you won't help me, then fine. But I'll keep hurting you, and if you think it's bad now, you don't know the half of it. Or you could give it to me and go on pretending to be happy while I find the door again. Again? You've seen it? Before? I don't know what exactly... I don't know exactly what you think is going to happen when you find it. But everything i found tells me it's dangerous. No, you're wrong. The door isn't for you. The collector said so. He said, if I had the mask, I could find it again. He said, if I found a shrine belonging to Kawana, that I could find it. So you met him too. Reina, he wasn't trying to help us. He must have been toying with us. Shut up. You, you don't know anything. 
He told me the mask would let me see the door again, just like, just like the day Mommy died. When they put the mask on me and I kept my eyes closed like Mommy told me to, even when people started getting sick and crying. Okay, yeah, so they all were poisoned. That much we know. And I saw it, the door, even with my eyes still closed. When I looked at it, I heard Mommy's voice and I knew if I found it, everything would be okay. I opened my eyes and it was gone. They took the mask and I saw Mommy on the ground. She wasn't moving anymore, like a doll. Okay, we've already gone through all this game. Why can't I skip it? <laughs> it was all my fault. It must have been. I did something wrong, but he told me if I found the mask, I can make it right again. Now I'm being punished for being a big screw-up, for not being pure like they told me to be. Except people like Higashi. They shouldn't have hurt me. They should have left me alone. I had to punish them. I just want to stop them from hurting me. That doesn't make me bad, right? You understand, don't you? <laughs> She's like, uh, uh... The funny thing is, is that if Tanaka was here, he'd understand. Even after everything you did to him. That's the kind of guy he is. Reina, it's not all your fault. She's like, I'm, I'm not Tanaka though, so I don't give a shit. This is beyond you. It's always, it always has been. That's why Tanaka was so intent on following you from the start. You weren't just some orphan girl. He somehow saw the darkness that was behind you. If only he had told me. I could have been there for him, helped him. But, but, no, I... You could have helped me, Ayami. He was helping me. He was gonna save me. Then why... If he was helping you, why hurt him? I, I didn't want to hurt Tanaka, but it was the only way to bring him here. The same way I was brought here. I thought I'd figured it out. But my white knight abandoned me, went somewhere else. Turns out, it was just another stupid idea from a stupid girl. <laughs> what did... What you did to Tanaka was wrong, but you can still make this right. You brought him down here, down with you that night. Where is he? <laughs> God, we've already gone through all this. I, I don't know where he is. Just tell me what happened from the beginning. Oh, real? No, I don't want to know. Just now. I just want the present. Present. I. It's hard to remember. Please try. Nothing's gone the way I thought it would. When I went back to Shinjuku, I, I remember how I ended up in the dark. I knew what I had to do so Tanaka could be with me. She killed herself, that's what happened. Only the mask wasn't awake. It wasn't loud like in Kamakura. So I made you come into the tunnel with me and Tanaka so it could wake up. Alright, okay, yeah, she had the mask. Because that's what I was wondering. I'm like, she had the mask, so why, why is she complaining about not having the mask? But she did, it just wasn't working when she was trying to get it to work. Then I slit his throat and went back to the dark and I waited. Tanaka woke up down there too, but the mask was gone. He didn't take it. We took it. The police took it. He was alive? He was like me, or I thought he was. At first, he seemed okay, but then he started wandering around, staring into space and talking to people who weren't there. Poor Tanaka. I think I broke him a Yami-chan. So he was down here. Tell me where he is. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I don't know where he is, and I don't care. Tanaka abandoned me. Even when he was here, he kept mumbling on and on about how he was going to help you. He gave you something, didn't he? That traitor. How else would you be able to keep finding me? He even said he saw the door, but he didn't take me there. I hate him. Why did he leave me? To think Tanaka would help a stupid little girl like me. It was dumb to try to bring him here. Oh my gosh. The collector said I'd find the door with the mask. I, I just didn't want to be alone is all. Now you're here, so I guess the mask is too. I didn't need him after all. He's gone. You're wrong. I can feel him somewhere here. He's waiting for me. Well, that is true. That was the first ending. He was waiting. He can? Maybe he's at the door. Please, take me there. Don't leave me. He's at the door, though. So, okay. I think things are going fine. The mask opened the dark and took me straight to Reina, and now that I'm here, I can feel it pulsing like a heartbeat. The door, the unknowable place where chance and fate have no importance. That's where Kazuki is. I know now what will happen if I lead her there. She'll get what she truly wants. Oh, okay. So this stuff 
is with the knowledge of before, she'll get to rest and finally be free. No more pain, no more suffering. Maybe that's what Kazuki would have wanted, but if I do that, the dark would change shape again and any hope of finding him would be lost. He'd be trapped here waiting for me and I'd never be able to tell him the truth behind everything he suffered for. That's if the Kazuki Tanaka that's left here is the same man I love. Either way, I have to abandon someone, but it's my responsibility. I have to choose. Uh, I guess we're going to take Reina this time. Please, don't hurt me. What I did to Tanaka, it was the only way. You get it, right? Right? No, you're wrong. But, then again, maybe there isn't a right way to begin with. In your own way, you're the same as me, grasping at whatever you could. He may still be down here, like you said. Would the Tanaka I find be the real him, though? If I used the mask, would I be the real me? I'm not so sure anymore. You're really not going to go after him? No, I'd have to give up even more of myself, succumb even more to this darkness. He wouldn't have wanted that. You know, for a long time, your face was all I saw, ever since Kamakura. It motivated me to push through my sadness because I thought I was doing something good, putting my problems behind me by becoming the hero and slaying some ancient evil. Now I'm not so sure if I'm doing the right thing. I don't know if I could do both, but probably not. You became a demon, a symbol of all my hatred, of everything bad that happened to me that day. Because I wonder, because when I went to save Tanaka, I wonder if I left him there, if I would bump back into Reina and take her there. I don't know. I don't know. No, I, I, I'm not. I'm not a demon. No, you're not. You're just a girl. Always were. Besides, I'm no hero. I'm not sure if there is such a thing. I realize that now. Me, you, Tanaka. All three of us were just paper dolls caught in a storm, being blown by winds that were so far out of our control. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I just wanted a way out. I wanted to be normal. Tanaka was one of the smartest detectives. No, one of the smartest people I knew. I think he knew what would have hap would happen to him. Maybe that's why he was so distant. I wish things had played out differently for us, and for you. Reina, I know what happened to you, all of it. I don't know how I saw all those things, but I, can I can't just ignore them. No one deserves to experience what you did, Reina. Every day he lived in hell, with no love or light. It was awful. We failed you, and I'm sorry. I f forgive you, Reina. It hurts to say it. That's selfish, isn't it? I can't forget the pain you caused me despite how hard I try, but I do forgive you because somewhere along the way this horrible cycle has to end. Aw, she's being the bigger person. I don't want to hurt people anymore. Then come with me. Let me help you. Well, why? Where are we going? We're ending this. We're ending it. To the door. You said you heard your mom, right? Let's go see her. Oh. I, I'm scared. What if she isn't there? What if I was wrong? It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. Except everything to be afraid of. You can rest like you always wanted. No more coming back. No more hurting people. Though I can't tell you what's waiting for you, I know it's better than this. I promise. Hayami, do you think it'll hurt? No. How do you know? I don't know how, but the darkness responds to the feelings of the people in it. Every time we butt heads, it pushed me out. It feels different now. It feels peaceful. What I'm trying to say is, I don't want to hurt you, Reina. I only want to help, and I think the dark will too. Okay, I'm ready. Aww. Thank you, Ayami. I don't know why you helped me, but thank you. Because you are nothing but trouble and you need to get out of my hair. That's why. <laughs> and the old man said so. For years, Rena searched for the door. The whole time it was nearby, hidden by a thick darkness that shifted in reaction to her hatred and her own hatred and fear. The 
mass began to tug at me as if guiding us, and together, hand in hand, it appeared in front of us. <laughs> She's searching for years for this door, and it was like beside her the whole time. I wasn't sure how I hadn't noticed it before. It was like it had always been there. Until that moment, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I'd never noticed how small and truly fragile she was. Standing in front of the door, she shook like a leaf. Squeezing her hand, I reassured her, told her that I forgave her, knowing that if she took a step forward, it would all be over and she'd find peace. I thought maybe I would too. For a long time, she stood, saying nothing, and eventually she let go of my hand and moved through the door. As soon as she did that, did her image began to fade. She was smiling. Not the unhinged smile from my past, but her true smile, the smile of a little girl. It's that smile, free of hate and malice, I remember now. The dark remained even after she left, though it began to change as I remained within it. Something agitated and expansive, like it was growing. Oops, is it not over? Somehow I knew that what little light I saw was because of Reyna. Her fear and hatred diffused out of the shadows. Thanks to that light, I was able to find the surface. Well, she still has the mask, though. The mask didn't quiet after Reyna's passing, and every day it became more restless. One day, I cast into the sea near the Kamakura, and despite the Kawana woman's warning, it never returned to me. Though occasionally, I can still feel it, scratching like a pin needle on the back of my skull. When the girl faded, other memories did, too. Impressions of a man called Kazuki Tanaka and a love we once shared. I find pictures in my apartment that I know are him, yet all I see is the face of a stranger looking up at me. Wait, what? So just because she helped Reina through the door, she loses all her memories of Tanaka? That doesn't make any sense. That's stupid. What? Some nights I wake up with tears in my eyes and images of that face crying out to me from some dark corner of my dreams and I desperately try to remember why that memory remains. Yet something about those pictures and staying in that apartment feels familiar, even if I can't make sense of it some days. All I remember for sure is Reyna's smile, knowing that in those final moments she forgave me for what I did to her. Finally, I was able to Feel peace. I got an achievement. Only a child. Okay, even though okay, that ending was I think I had to get that ending in order to I think the real one is destroying the mask. Oh, I have to sit through all this, don't I? Oh, okay. Well Let's discuss, I guess, while, I have, while we have to sit through this. That ending... Uh, I don't know if if I left Reyna and went to go find Tanaka, and then instead of dragging Tanaka back to the real world, if instead I left him there, like said goodbye to him, and then came out of the dark, because... We saw Reyna again. When we were dragging Tanaka through, we saw her again. So I don't know if we went, we saw Tanaka, we made peace with him, and then we left and we saw Reyna, and that maybe we helped her too? I don't know. Maybe she'd just ignore her again and just leave and be like, ah, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this one more time. Um... There's 11 endings, apparently, but we are not doing 11 of them. I just want to get a good one. I just want the true one. That's really all I kind of care about when I play visual novels, especially on stream. I just want to get what is considered the true one because that is the one that's got the answers, and I just want the answers. All the other endings are kind of like, they're like bonus things, like if you get a Blu-ray or something and you want you want the the director's commentary and you want the behind the scenes footage the deleted scenes the bloopers all that shit that's what i feel like alternative like all well they're not alternative but all the other endings are they're just you know more to what's already there so but it's not the the true ending so we're gonna get the true ending okay 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 this i think is different i think this thing is gonna be different this post credit scene. 
Interesting, most interesting. You're nothing but a crow feeding on the carrion that time leaves in its wake. <laughs> Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. The woman had her, des her own desires. I only gave her a little push. I thought you'd be happy. You'd have found forgiveness th through the context of her suffering by drowning herself in the past. A historian's dream. A gesture of extraordinary kindness, yes, but history does not smile at the happiness of one. It favors the welfare of all. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance. The different threads present a myriad of truths, but all an aspect of the same visage nonetheless. A myriad? Interesting, interesting. I would have thought one so interested in history would adhere to a single truth. This is the same ending that we got the last time. On the contrary, if history has taught me anything, it is that there is no one truth. The deeper one gazes, the more complex it becomes. Yes, all are truth. All grant insight into the same puzzle. You're right, my old friend. Time is a spiral, and observe it long enough, and we yet may learn something. So, okay, what I'm taking from this whole scene right now is that we didn't get the true ending. <laughs> because they're just basically saying, yes, this is one ending, but... It, I mean, you, you see one truth and you, you do kind of see a piece of the puzzle, but you're not seeing the whole puzzle. So this is not, this is not it. <laughs> stubborn, so stubborn. Allow me to ask you a question. I believe I know it already, you've asked it before. Indulge me, I, ask her the same, I asked her the same question. If the dancing puppet looks up and sees its strings, does it remain a puppet? Right. This is not the true ending, this is not it. <laughs> We've already done this. Uh. Never the true ending. Oh. I want the true ending. I think destroying the mask is is really it. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna destroy the mask. So we have to go back here, I think, when we're on the train, and instead of going to Shijuku, we're going to go back to the, the shrine. Okay, 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 blah blah blah, what day is it, blah blah blah, blah, blah nah, 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 nah. Okay, so we're gonna go to Kamakura. So this is all gonna be new, brand new. Ooh, it feels strange to be back in these streets knowing everything I do now. Actually, I will be right, be right back one second.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Alright, let's get this true ending. I hope this is the true ending. Ancient cults, a troubled family, and a girl named Reyna, all united by the history of death and suffering caused by a simple object. All that meaningless death of innocent people for what? To protect mankind? To make us better? Don't make me laugh. No more. I've gone down this rabbit hole far enough. I refuse to be a slave to the mask any longer. Me too. I am not your slave. I'll destroy it. Turn it back to ashes and do the world a favor. My final defiant act as reality breaks apart at the seams. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty crazy right now. The Kawanas are waiting in the sh at the shrine. They know us. They know as well as I do the torment the mask brings with it. Let's hope the old woman can do what she says she can. All right. I don't know if I got all the cats. I guess I didn't, because then that would be um. Oh, okay, that's creepy and weird. What? It's not letting me. Is it not letting me get there? Stop it. Stop it. Um. Um. <laughs> um. Not again. I won't let you control me. Oh, okay. Why now? Is it trying to stop me? Well, you're trying to destroy it, so yeah, maybe it is trying to stop you. This mask, born in, out of death and suffering, shouldn't be in this world. Maybe those people were trying to restore things. Ugh, why, why, why am I thinking about all that? I have to keep moving. What is this feeling? Fear? I, I, I'm afraid to go forward. I have to go back. I, I can't move. Death? Everything about this place feels like death. What if I'm wrong? Kazuki, Reina, they could still be down there. That's what it wants. It's why I need to destroy it. But, oh god, what will happen? Why is it pleading with me? Because it doesn't want to die. It doesn't want to be destroyed. All those lives trapped in the mask want to be free, don't they? Then why... I could still turn back. <laughs> Now's my last chance. Oh, it's doing that again. You don't have to go forward. You can go back still. You still have time. I'm so confused what to do. No, we're going forward. I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. Well, I guess you can, but... We're doing this. We're doing it. Where is everybody? Oh. Huh. Ito. So you came after all. Yes, of course she did. She knew it was the right thing to do. Plus, I already did it twice without coming here, so... You brought something, didn't you? From the compound. I did. I, I found a wooden amulet. You were right. The darkness I felt there was the same. S seriously? Wait. That, that is actually real? When I was there, I saw visions from the past of people who are gone now. I know about the ritual Tokimasa tricked them into performing. How could you have let it happen? She was just a girl. There's no answer I can give that would satisfy you. No answer? Is that the best you can do? <laughs> That's why you fled, isn't it? You knew all about Tokimasa's ritual and what would happen to everyone who was left behind. Yet you took Mei and Takashi and ran and did nothing to stop it. Stop it? What would have changed? Emiko n knew that what staying meant for her children as well as I did. She was willing to die however Tokimasa told her to. I couldn't persuade my own daughter to save herself. You think I didn't try? The police never would have believed an old woman talking about ancient rituals. I had no choice. They were monsters. They weren't monsters, they were lost, looking for answers in a world that had none for them. Much like you, like us. In my years with the mask, I could hear them sometimes in the darkness, along with voices I did not recognize. I always thought they were vengeful, restless, punishing me for my sins. 
Once we purify the mask, perhaps they will forgive us. Did you find the girl who's chasing you? This... Reyna. Did you ask her forgiveness? Forgiveness? I'm not sure if that's possible anymore. After everything that girl went through, all of her self-hatred and her sorrow are a part of the mask now. Okay, I... Since I used an old save file, I am hoping that that doesn't matter. Like, I'm hoping that the game didn't want me to go through one ending and then, okay, fine, then start again and go through again and do another ending. Like, I hope just using the fucking save file is enough because I'm not playing through all the crap before because the crap before doesn't matter. <laughs> I hope not. I hope, I hope that's fine. Because they're talking like I didn't. I mean, I did. But then I went back to a save file where technically I hadn't. I felt it all in this shrine the day I shot her. Do you think that this will put a stop to all of it? The whispers, Reyna, all of the strange things we've seen? Atonement is a journey, one that expands past our time on this earth. It will at least allow us to take the first step to rightening our own sins. Writing? Rightening? Why did I say rightening? Writing our own sins. Our sins, huh? Hold on. I've only ever done good luck rituals and harmless little blessings. This is different. Grandma, this is real. I I don't know if I can do this. May calm yourselves. <laughs> She's like, may calm your tits. A ritual has meaning in its very act. It's, it is the god's way of preparing us for the true test. She's like, you'll be fine. You are a pure child, and combined with your will, and the ritual will gain power. It will work. It must. Why me? Because you are not corrupted by it. And plus, you're the only one who can do fucking rituals. Only you can. You can bring your mother peace. Please, May, you have to try. I know you think it's crazy, but this mask has caused a lot of people to suffer. It doesn't matter if you believe us. Just... Do it knowing that it will help me and your grandma move on. You haven't seen what I we've seen, so I don't blame you for being skeptical, but you can believe in helping us, right? <laughs> it's like, you can do the ritual because you have no idea why you're doing the ritual. <laughs> I just want this all to end. Me too. Every day it's been harder to keep things straight, and this mask is partially to blame. It's silly. I'm not religious, never have been, but I want this all to stop, to be normal again. I want to believe that it will work, and in you. So please, I'm begging you to try. Oh, there she is, begging again. Okay. Thank you, May. May, are you ready? I just need a moment to prepare. What if we're wrong? What do you mean? What if the mask isn't the problem? What if we're making it worse? The old man told me that the mask didn't create the shadows. It only opens your visions to them. So are we doing the right thing? What if we're missing something? Why are you saying this? Why are you putting doubt in me right now? Are you losing your resolve? No, it's just... Tanaka, the man who died, the one I was searching for, he always said a what if isn't good enough for a detective. I guess old habits die hard, and there's still so much I don't understand. And you never will. It's a matter of faith, child. So it's like, on one hand, the game is telling me, you don't know enough, so this might not work. But on the other hand, they're like, you're never gonna know everything, so just go with it. I don't know which is true. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Miko, please forgive me for leading you to those people and for what happened to you. I tried to save you. I tried. I pray you find peace. Grandma, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, that's so creepy. As the ritual continued, I felt an overwhelming sadness. Like something had been ripped out of me that I would never find again. At that moment, the whispers of the mask turned to desperate, pleading screams. Oh shit. I closed my eyes and hugged myself like a child, feeling at that moment utterly engulfed in fear. Oh no, it's so creepy. Stop staring at me. 
It's doing the THX sound. Oh, wait, did we do it? Did we do it? Then there was silence. When I opened my eyes, the mask was split in two. I knew at that moment Kazuki was dead and had been all along. We all left the shrine in silence. I never returned. Nothing was quite right after that day. Reina's presence was gone, but I started to feel other things. Oh shit, is this not the true ending if she's feeling other things? The shadows began to take on new, fearful shapes. Tokyo began to change. Crime shot up and the murder rate peaked and had an all-time high that year. The police were so swamped with the wave of violence that they reinstated me as a homicide detective. The investigation into me was dropped entirely. I quit within six months. I just didn't have the stomach for it anymore and after what happened to Kazuki I could never focus. What if the ritual was a mistake? What if everything that happened since is all my fault? Sometimes I wake up at night wondering if the world of the dark was the truth and my life now is a dream, an afterimage after being exposed to bright flash. I don't go out much these days. What the hell? I got the end of the mask achievement. I can't bear to face the real world. This isn't a very good ending. What is this even? Oh, we have to go through the credits and be blinded again. Maybe they'll say something different. Or they'll just say the same thing. If they say the, if they say the same thing. Ah, I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to do any more endings. <laughs> uh, I hope. And even if that is like, that can't be the true ending. I have this feeling that I have to start the game over again. I have to do start another new plus game with having these other endings and then go through it to get to that point again. I just have this feeling that I have to do that. But I don't know. No, I don't want to go deeper. I'm done. I don't want to go any deeper. This is it. We destroyed the mask. Even though, no answers! That's the thing that's bothering me. Okay, destroy the mask, but no answers. But where would I get answers? So, I go in and I see uh, Tanaka. There were some answers. But then we tried to drag him back, and that was wrong. But I think even if we... Mm, if we left him there and came out, I, I don't know if there is a version of this where we can do everything, you know? If we can go, leave him there, and then take Reyna back, and then take the mask and destroy the mask. I, I don't know if there's a version where we can do all that. I'm almost tempted to see. I'm almost tempted to do one last try and just leave Tanaka there and see where that ends up. It might just be a sob story. Though it just might end there and she'd be like, okay, and I left him, and then I left Arena, and nothing was the same again. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Oh. Okay, ah, uh, okay, he's saying the same thing. Interesting. Okay, that's the same thing. All this is the same. All of this is the same. <laughs> Wait. But the result, this cannot be. Not right at all. The mask rid from this world? I won't accept it. Holy shit. Why? What do you care? Shall I tell the reason it bothers you so? Because you gained nothing from this truth. But make no mistake, it is a truth. Another possibility. He's, 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 he on the left here is feeling how I'm feeling right now. Okay, the mask is destroyed, but I didn't get anything from it. And then he's just like, yep, yeah, well, I mean, it was just an ending. So, that's it. T time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've gone through the tapestry and the Madrid of truths and the visage and all that other bullshit. I wonder if I actually have to do all the endings in order to unlock whatever the true ending is. Mm. 
Yeah, okay. This is all the same. Alright. I'm gonna try that just once more. But it's it's definitely going to be speed run through. I'm just gonna click my little clicker off. Not doing a new game, but I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna choose go save Tanaka. But I can start from over here. Let's see where that takes us. And if not, and if it does nowhere, then that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Plus, I'm not like feeling a hundred percent anyway. So, I just like I just wanted to get this this story done. I just wanted to know what the ending was. But maybe that is the ending. Not knowing the cat. I haven't seen any other cats. I almost feel like if I see a cat, I'm on the right track. Almost rhymes. Almost. So, whatever. I'm just gonna, like, click my ass off through the whole arena bullshit. Because it is so long. The conversation, and I can't skip it. Go deeper. I must go deeper. Click, click, click. Oh yeah, I did get a choice here. Become the mask bearer. I kind of don't feel like that's a good option. I, uh, okay, wait. I haven't done this one. Reina, I need you to listen to me. You, I thought I got rid of you. You should be dead. You can't get rid of me, no matter what we do. We'll keep meeting, keep fighting each other endlessly until one of us breaks. And somehow, do it all over again. Oh, this is so meta right now. We're caught in a web, with every path leading back to the center. To the same place. We can't escape it. What? What are you talking about? I... I feel strange. Why can't you leave me alone? Because I wasn't meant to. Don't worry, if I'm right, it'll be over soon, I promise. Huh? Why? You gonna try and get revenge? Well, it won't work down here. Too bad for you, Ayami-chan. Petty things like revenge don't matter anymore. Maybe if I didn't know how my story ended, it would. But Reyna, even you must realize that this place, the door, the mask, it's all beyond you, beyond any of us. Didn't you ever ask yourself what it all meant? Huh? What do you mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's all pointless. Like me. Mommy said I was special, but she was wrong. I did so many terrible things and it was my fault, so now I'm being punished for it. That's not true. You're just a girl who got caught up in something bigger than her, like me. Guess what makes guess that makes us kindred spirits in a weird way. Oh, so I, I picked the other option to be the mask bearer, and basically uh, Ayame's being all like self-aware right now, and she's like, we're just gonna keep going in circles. So like, we're, let's just cut straight to it. You're not like me. You don't know what I've been through. You're wrong. I do know what happened to you. All of it. I can't deny our lives took different paths, and I can't pretend to understand how you felt. But I do know what that what happened to you wasn't your fault. None of it. <laughs> this kind of feels like that part in the butterfly effect, where Evan goes back the second time around um, when he was a kid, and he was in the basement of uh, What's-Her-Face's and her dad and all that, the second time around where he's like, yeah, 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 been there, done that. And he's just like, okay, where, where's the, I'm just gonna go over here. He's like, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna get the, the, the whatever, the bomb or whatever it was and the explosive and I'm gonna do this and that. And he was getting a little too cocky, but he was just like, okay, I'm sick of this shit. I know exactly what I need to do. This one's kind of reminding me of. Something's different. You've changed. Why Why aren't you mad about Tanaka? I am. I'm, I'm mad as hell as that he died the way he did. I loved him and he deserved better, but there's nothing I can do. It already happened and there's nothing we could have done to change it. No matter what I do differently, no matter how I try and make things play out, that's not how it has to happen. What, what are you going to do to me? To you? Do to you? I'm going to give you what you want. What I want? That's right. You want the mask back, right? 
and you want to end and you want to end to all this I can give you that by helping you find the door the door where I heard mommy's voice that's right will you let me help you okay <laughs> she's like okay hey what's all this all about hey hey what's wrong nothing come on don't be afraid <laughs> she's like we've been here been here done that just go through she's just pushing her through the door she's just pushing like just go Raina it's fine everything will be fine I know you're feeling all that just you know just go through the door everything will be fine <laughs> carefully I place the mask over Raina's face again and allow her to briefly see the dark the dark the way she was meant to see it her whole body shook as she walked as if wearing the mask had brought back the little girl who was abandoned in the forest at the base of the Mount of Mount Fuji Eventually, we found the door. Her fear seemed to melt away, and she stood very still in front of it for a long time. As she walked through it, I thought I heard her whisper the words, I'm sorry. I can't be sure. Slowly, her physical body faded, and her feelings of anguish that permeated and shaped the dark began to fade as well. The dark began to change, slowly as if it had been released and was walking from a long, waking from a long slumber. As it awoke, I could feel it expanding, sending probing fingers into the city streets above. After a time, the mask, now unbound, reappeared. It had come back to me. I didn't have much time to do what I had come for. Oh, okay, so we're saving Reyna, and we're gonna also be able to destroy the mask. This is it. This is it. This is the true ending. I hope. I hope so. Oh shit. It's, it's pissed. The dark is pissed at us. Left unchecked, the dark and whatever it is in it will spill over into our world and destroy the lives of the unassuming people above. I can't help but think of my own normal life, a life that I'll never, I'll now never have the chance to see for myself. Still, I can't let others suffer in the same way I suffered, or the way Reyna suffered. They deserve a chance at a future, right? There's no one else who can do this for them. It has to be me. I wish I knew why, but maybe it's not important. If only everyone knew what was lurking in the shadows under the surface, or the world hidden in the edges of their vision, would they change willingly if they did? If the kami, or whatever they are, want humankind to change or to perish, are people really capable of becoming anything better than the selfish, flawed creatures they are? Is this worth it? There is only one way to find out. In my mind, I can see it perfectly. The symbol that Chikako Shichigo used to bind herself to the mask. Forged in blood, I must do the same. So we're becoming the mask bearer. I guess. Ew. Oh wait, we've got the, we've got the knife. Ah, ew, ew. That was loud. Okay, she's becoming the mask bearer. Not sure anymore if this is right. <laughs> ah, it hurts searing my skin like a brand, calling out for a life to seal my blood to the souls trapped in the mask. Death is the only sufficient payment. I may not have control over my final destination, but I can choose how I get there. I won't sacrifice innocent lives to the mask like those who came before me. There's only one option left to me. What remains of Kazuki Tanaka pulses like a heartbeat from the other side of the door, getting weaker and weaker by the moment. A living memory, his consciousness reflecting off of me like a mirror. I won't leave him there to suffer in purgatory. I'll release him. Oh wait, we are doing- I think we're doing everything. I hope. I hope so. I hope we're doing all of it. All of it. All the things in one go. In doing so, I'll give the mask what it requires. At least as part of the mask, he'll be whole again. I'll say goodbye to you, Kazuki, and then I'll be able to say goodbye to Yami Ito. Oh, yes, we're doing everything. So, okay, we led Reina to the door, and then we're going to see Tanaka, because we're putting on the mask, and then we'll be able to leave, hopefully, and then we'll be able to destroy it, I think. Maybe. I hope. Ah, uh, it's a dark, creepy mask face. Ah, 
I hope this is right. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so we've already done all this part. I'm sure this is going to be the exact same thing. Where they're going to have their, their long ass sob story. The sounds in this game, they're pretty good. They're unnerving just enough. Alright, this is all stuff that we've read before. I gotta admit, the first time through, I was half expecting this not to be Tanaka and just to be some crazy person. This is all the same stuff. So, I love you. I love you too. I come to free you. Can't you see it? You're only a fragment of yourself. Every moment you spend here, a bit more of you is lost. Hey, Yami, I, I guess part of me knew this would happen. As I wandered down here alone, I knew it wouldn't last. But we had our happiness, Ayami. Even if it was only for a little while, we found a deep connection that, that most people do in a lifetime. This isn't how I wanted our story to end, but if it has to end this way, I'd rather it be with you. Aww. Ayami, I don't want you to be like this anymore. Everything I know about myself slipping away. I know. I love you, Ayami. I'm ready. I'm sorry. Don't be. We'll see each other again someday. I hope so. Ayami, the mask. I can hear the mask. Why? I'm sorry, Kazuki. It's the only way to make you whole. Whoa? Oh? What is she doing? Oh, she's killing him. Again. Oh my god, that was loud. Ow, my ears. <laughs> Ayami, what have you done? We had our chance at happiness. This is the only way to give mankind a chance at theirs. Someday, I'll give you your peace, I swear. <laughs> As Kazuki slumps to the ground, I can feel the warmth of his blood on my skin. Slowly, he begins to fade away, and as he does, the whispers of the mask grow quiet. The blood goes cold. The mask has a new master. The dark is now mine to control, to stop from drawing in the poor, ignorant people above. This is my charge. To stand vigil and give humanity a chance, whether it deserves it or not. No matter what, I will be here, waiting, trying to forget the life I had in exchange for the lives I can save. Oh wait, is she not destroying it? She's just the mask bearer. What? Wait a second. Wait a second! This isn't an ending! I thought she could go back up and destroy the mask. I got an achievement. Becoming. Ah, okay, whatever. I'm done. I'm done with this game. <laughs> I don't know what the true ending is. Maybe it doesn't have one. I'm willing to bet it doesn't have one. I don't know. Just making me go around in circles. Fuck that. I'm done. I'm really done this time. Uh, plus, I'm not feeling that well right now. Like, my body right now is just like, it just wants to lie down. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, yeah. Credits, again. Why do they gotta be so bright? Like, the game is called Tokyo Dark. And everything in this game is dark. Like, the, the environments and... Pretty much everything that you see in this game is dark. And then suddenly when you get to the end, you are blinded by these credits. Like my eyes. Oh, just so bright. Oy, oy, oy. Well, 
I don't know, small talk, I guess, until it gets to the end, the post credit scene. I hope the post credit scene's different. Probably isn't going to be, but we will see. Um, I heard the video game awards are on right now. Or, I don't know, they might be over now. Or almost done. I know they're in LA. So, that's a three hour difference from me. They were on when I started, around 11, but... I'm thinking it was almost done. I didn't really see much of it. I just saw uh, something about PUBG, uh, some announcement or something. I mean, I'll, I'm sure there'll be lots of news about it tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, video Game Awards, I kind of feel like they don't really matter because I don't. It's like the Oscars. Do they matter? What? I didn't get a post credit scene? What? What the fuck? Huh, uh, uh, okay then. Maybe, maybe that was the true ending because I didn't get a post credit scene. Ha, uh, okay. Tokyo Dark. I still don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm actually, I'm gonna end the stream here because I'm not feeling well. I only intended to have a, a short stream. Anyways, uh, let's see what's going on. <laughs> Maybe it is the true ending. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Uh, let's see, Monday, I'm going to be having movie night. There'll be Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. Details are in the Discord. And Tuesday is the start of Winter Wonderland in Overwatch, so I will definitely be playing Overwatch. I'll be playing some Maze Yeti Hunt. I have no idea what that's going to be like, but that is the new uh, event. And then at night, I'm going to be playing a new game. Uh, the Doki Doki Literature Club. Because I've heard lots about it. And it seems, you know, right up my alley, like with with Corpse Party and uh, this Tokyo Dark and that Creeping Terror game and all that. And it just sounds like something that I would play. And that's all I know about it, which is good. So that will be that. So thanks for, for watching these endings with me <laughs> and still being confused. <laughs> and I hope you have a good night. Oh my gosh, I have no idea with this game. <laughs> I'm not going to think about it anymore. <laughs> so I will talk to you later. <sighs> okay, we're done with this game. I'm done with it. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>